Hello, my name is Evandro Melo. Welcome to my life page. Today we're going to talk about project management. But first, let me introduce myself. Uh, I was born in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. I studied in the Colégio Marista Dom Silvério, a private college in my city. And after that, I graduated in psychology in the Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais, a public university in my city. And when I was studying in university, I, I got a public job in the Banco de Desenvolvimento de Minas Gerais, Development Bank of the Minas Gerais State. After 10 years working there, I did an MBA in project management and started to work with project management in the company. A project is a way to organize your efforts to build, to construct, or to create something new and that has a time to begin and a time to end. Uh, the project is different than the process. When you, for instance, you build in a car in a factory that already exists, this project is just repeating itself. So you're building the same car again and again and again. This is a process. A project is something new. Building a factory is new. It's a new factory. You only do it once. Soon it's done, the factory is the, the end, is the goal of the project, is the product. And then after that, the project is over, you can start another project. And now, the first is project methodologies. You have to know that there are different methodologies available in the market, and you can learn uh, different ways to do this project. I did my MBA in a methodology, methodology called, called PMI uh, from an institute that is called Projects Management Institution. Uh, also, you have the Agile methodology that is a different way of perceiving time in the project. So, in the more traditional methodology, you think most of the time about the final goal and you play all the projects in the beginning, you plan everything in the beginning, and then you just follow what's planned. When you're doing the Agile methodology, the planning cycles are repeating itself during the project. So you go back to the planning of what are the, the next steps. Uh, we have communication skills. Uh, the communication skills may be the most important skills in the project, because you, you are in touch with different people all the time. You have the sponsors that, that, that are, for instance, the president of the company or your clients, the persons that are requiring you, uh, re requiring for, from you that the product is made. And you have the, your team, you have everybody who is involved in the project and you have to talk to them all the time to understand what's going on, what is necessary to do. And if everybody uh, is understanding what you need them to do. The first one is continuous learning. Uh, since every project is different and all the time you're dealing with uh, different kind of workers from different uh, knowledge and different specialities, you're always learning from them. You always, you're going to hire um, professionals, technicians with different skills. But you have to understand a little bit what they are doing so you can manage their, their work. In this process, you always learn, you always learn different things. And also, you have to learn how to do the right questions. You have to learn how to criticize. For it, you have also to learn. During the project, you have a big quantity of meetings that you have to be there. This can be difficult because all the time you are in these big meetings with a lot of people, a lot of subjects involved, and it can be stressful if you don't like being in meetings of, or if you don't have patience to talk to. In my company, I used to start worship at 9 a.m. From 9 to 12, it was a, a part of the day that the company was not crowded. So we use the, the, this time mostly to work on our data and create presentations to our to the president of the company to show him what was going on. In the evening after our lunch time, we had more meetings with the teams, the uh, the working teams of the the, the projects, to see uh, the results of the work, to talk about the next steps, 
and about the risks, if there's any active risks that need to be treated. We, in an everyday basis, I was working between eight and nine hours every day from Monday to Friday. I hope I have been able to give you a balanced view about what project management is. Thank you.